Okay, so I said I will make a video about George Pell, Cardinal George Pell. <sighs> so let me change. So, <clears throat> Cardinal George Pell of the Catholic Church was recently, maybe yesterday, yeah, 7th April 2020. Yeah, yesterday, uh, at the High Court had his uh, appeal uh, for the conviction of uh, sexually assaulting two choir boys uh, in the mid-1990s, quashed by the High Court, the highest court in the land. And he was acquitted of all charges, which makes him free. And he got out of prison yesterday. I am making this video because I... I think it has to be said. I think someone has to say. I, I will link a video before below where this uh, journalist or commentator on Sky News Australia, I think, called whose name is Andrew Bolt. He sort of makes a video explaining this better. But I want to make my own statement on this issue uh, because I just uh, want to vent my frustration at uh, how mass hysteria, bigotry, uh, can cause a innocent man to be falsely charged and convicted of an offense for which he might not. And he, in my view, he's an innocent, innocent man. He have, you know, he did not commit. Uh, now. The reason I think they went after him is because he, there was all this abuse in the you know, pedophilia in the Catholic Church and all these people don't like the Catholic Church. And the reason they don't like the Catholic Church is because they are bigoted towards religion and conservative values. So there is a media, which may be mostly leftist, media have, you know, media frenzy and uh, you know they so yeah yes there is a like we all, we all know that there's a problem there was a problem in the Catholic Church maybe it was uh, its address now where there's been these pedophilia and yeah so that was a problem and this sort of the I guess they wanted someone to blame and I think they went after after him uh, some people say that uh, that they went after him, or, or maybe they really believe because anyway the case was uh, like it was a funny thing because oh no, like in the I think in the first trial by jury the jury convicted him of this, and uh, I don't know why they convicted him because what the high court said was that. A reasonable jury looking at the evidence should have concluded that there was reasonable doubt as to his guilt. <laughs> so the high court said the jury came to a wrong conclusion. Um, so this kind of shows that you know, like people uh, can be like, you know. How can someone, some people say, how can someone get a fair trial if there's all this prejudice against the Catholic Church? Like, because even the Court of Appeal, when that decision was appealed, the uh, first jury decision, even the, in the Court of Appeal, it was like three, uh, two, one decision where two judges uh, agreed with the jury's verdict, but there was a dissenting judge who said, oh no, this is wrong, you're not looking at the evidence fairly. Uh, and, and when they appealed to the High Court, the High Court came uh, unanimous. There was an, it was like, like a 7-0, that's like all the judges, seven, there's a seven High Court judges. 7-0 unanimous decision that 
there was a reasonable doubt as to his the cardinal's guilt, so they quashed the conviction and, and substituted acquittal. Uh, so I am venting my, like, I'm really like, like, I just don't like this kind of, uh, like, picking on this person because, come on, he's a cardinal of the Catholic Church. He doesn't strike me as someone who would lie, you know. Uh, maybe some priests might lie, but I don't, I don't know much, I, like, I haven't really followed this case, so, you know, but just, like, I just find it difficult uh, to believe that he lied. And, and, and in the video, he, the Andrew Bolt shows exactly why he could not have committed the uh, sexual assaults. And he sort of, sort of walks through why it cannot be committed. And the High Court said that there was two competing evidence. So he got the evidence of the choir, choir boy, who was a credible witness. But there's also these competing evidence by these other people who are also credible witnesses. And High Court said that when you look at the evidence as a whole, you can't, there is a reasonable doubt as to his guilt. And the uh, lower courts and the jury did not give due weight to the evidence as a whole. I think that's sort of what they said. Uh, but the video below will explain it better. And I just. Uh, I don't know, am I a contrarian? Do I always take contrarian positions? Uh, I just don't like hysteria and, and like, you know, people get false accusations and it's like when you're accused of something, like you're all automatically, like we live in a society where people don't give much respect to the truth and uh, I think George Bell makes a statement that the truth is important. Uh, I don't know if I'll link that statement, but yeah, just a video. Um, so, truth is important, people. You have to, it's not like, I mean, it's like the media and everyone's like, they already concluded that he's guilty. <laughs> It's like he's guilty and so people are saying oh, I can't believe the, the with this decision they're allowing him to get away with it whereas what if he's actually innocent have you considered that some people are saying oh he got away with it because he's a cardinal and, and uh, he... no what if he's actually innocent hmm. there's a problem with these uh, Things these days where, like, if you if you it's mass hysteria, and it's also like a problem with culture that doesn't value truth, because everyone says, oh, it's just uh, power. Like, if you have the power, then you can manipulate, like, you can tell people what, like, you can get away with it if you have enough power. Whereas this high court judgment shows no. It's not about power, or it's not about popularity. It's not. A, it's about the truth. It's about uh, giving people a fair trial, and that's why I think this is a very fantastic decision because it upholds the standards of fairness, justice, and not allow mass hysteria to just sort of. And it's an indictment on our culture, which does not value truth, which is sort of like, uh, you know, it's all relative, and it's about power, and who gets to control the narrative, I think that's another thing, they use another phrase. So I'm, glad, I'm very happy with this decision, because it's about, this high court came and said, no, you have to look at the evidence. And the evidence shows that, that, that there is a reasonable doubt. And I think the high court actually thought, thought he was innocent, because they say, they said in the statement, there is a significant risk. They didn't say there's a risk. There was a significant risk that an innocent man, they said that, that an innocent man could be sent to jail. I think that's the phrase they use. Might, uh, I'm not sure, but in the video, I'm going to link the he sort of uh, quotes that. But they don't want to say he's innocent because of the political bullshit. Uh, if they said that. Uh, but I think this was their uh, sort of backhanded way of, of this. 
uh, without explicitly saying it, sort of alluding it to it, there was a significant risk that an innocent man could be jailed or convicted. In my opinion, Conrad George Bell, uh, George Pell is innocent. He did not commit the offences for which he was charged, which was the uh, sexually abusing these two choir, boy, choir boys in 1996 or somewhere in the mid-90s. I think he is innocent. He did not commit these crimes, and he's always maintained his innocence. So, there you go. I like this decision because it shows that, yes, truth and fairness and justice is still that it's still valid it still matters the high court came uh, yeah because even the, a lot of people in the legal community were also saying yeah uh, also were they were not they also thought that the, the conviction was kind of a unsound or you know that's not the exact word they use but the legal community didn't think the initial co jury conviction and the appeal was good. Like even the dissenting judge, you know, so in the uh, appeal, the initial appeal. Okay, so, um, 